backup and restore uh, SQL server and uh, I go to the backup infrastructure Microsoft Windows and this is the server who hold SQL okay and So now we need to go to the physical infrastructure and then perform restore. There you need to find your backup. So that on the top most, that's my backup. And go next. Now here you do not find any options that you wanted to restore the application or you wanted to restore the data or you wanted to restore something else so what you need to do is you simply need to click on finish and wait for some time a new console is going to be open very soon okay so the file level restore has been started So a new console is going to open. Let's see. Yeah, it's already open. Now, when this console will execute on the left, we can see you can restore your files from the drives like C, D, or other optional drives you have. And on the top where my cursor is, from here you can restore any application that is associated with this. Uh, virtual machine or a physical machine sorry this is a physical machine this is taking longer than usual yeah so now on the left c drive and volume drive is there but on the top there is a application items are there so yeah it probably still processing on the background Yeah, so if you want to bring anything from the application, you can see on the application there's Active Directory to everything. So I'm using Microsoft SQL Server. And this SQL Server is the one who is containing database of my Veeam backup actually. Okay, so when I go to the SQL Server, it is asking me, do you want to restore the database to the same location or to another server? So same location I cannot restore and other server I do not have. Second is export backup. If you want to just export the backup file to C drive, D drive or a network drive you can. But I am restoring it to the original location. So automatically your server will get selected and you can browse if you have more servers. I do not have any of them right now. So I will select next and if you say yes if you say again yes it will delete your old database and it will overwrite it so i'm not going to say okay because it's gonna mess with my veeam server thank you very much